I really cannot count the number of times that family and friends said to me, you know, we can't believe how happy Taylor looks, all of her pictures that she's posting, she's glowing. And of course, moving to a warm, sunny place had a lot to do with that happiness, but our family all knew that the reason Taylor was so happy was because of Mike. She had found her person, her soulmate in sunny South Carolina. Michael, my best friend, my husband from this day forward. <laughs> I've never imagined I would be standing here today in front of you, in front of the man I love, looking into the eyes of my soulmate and starting my forever. When we started dating, I gained a family and a man who loves me and an adorable golden retriever, uh, both who I adore with all my heart. You were everything I needed at a time that I didn't think I needed. I love you for so many reasons, but I love you most for your heart, your true, kind, and open, compassionate heart. You have taught me so many things about life, love, happiness, and the importance of every moment. As your wife, I promise to love you with the same determination and confidence that you have given me. I vow to stand by you in life's wonderful moments and when life is difficult. I vow to let you have the last sweet potato pancake, <laughs> always. I vow to cuddle with you as much as Banks and pick up treats for you when he gets some too. I promise to commit myself to our family and the good that I know will come from it. But most of all, I promise to be your true companion, always. Today, I become your wife and your other half, and I cannot wait for all the blessings we will have, for all the blessings we will wait for together. Taylor, who would have ever thought a play gesture by myself of asking, hey, would anyone like to try some of my sweet potato pancakes, would not only lead to me losing a delicious bite of my breakfast, but quicker before I could uh, finish the question, but also me finding the girl in my dreams. Every second I get to spend with you is the best moment of my life, and, I, and they continue to get better with every milestone we meet. For me finally asking you to be my girlfriend instead of just assuming we're on the same page. <laughs> to you completely overhauling every decoration that I had in my house. <laughs> to getting our beautiful fur child thanks. All the way to you saying yes to me on that rainy day down in Charleston. I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us because I know that as long as I have you by my side, Every day will be the best day, and we can accomplish anything together. I never thought someone as beautiful, caring, driven, funny, loving, and absolutely amazing was out there, and then I met you, and I was shocked. I must be the luckiest guy in the world to not only find the best woman to be my wife, but the best family to come right along with her. Now, I know throughout this whole wedding planning process, I had a few that's what, that's the one thing I want moments such as a king chair at the head table, a bouncy house, that sweet pirate ship out there, and a few other things that didn't quite make the cut. But now I'll tell you the truth and say that you have always been and always will be the one thing that I want. I cannot find the words to explain how much to you I love you. I've tried, but I've come to the conclusion that they simply just do not exist. So I'll finish it with this. I love you so much, Taylor. You're my best friend and my forever. 
I promise to always be there for you, to be the best man that I can be, to love you unconditionally, and to cherish every day together for the rest of our lives. And as the Lord blows a real cool breeze on us right now, we thank Him for that and for the power that has been vested in me by the governor of the great state of South Carolina. It is indeed an honor, a pleasure, and I am just thrilled to say that you are now husband and wife. And Michael, you may kiss your bride. Thank you.